Hey there, my friend, it's Dr. Anthony Balduzzi from Fit Father Project and Fit Mother Project. In today's video, I wanna teach you how to breathe properly. I wanna teach you how to breathe properly at rest and when you're doing exercise motions. And I think this is an important video because most people are not breathing well and they're not getting as much energy from every breath as they possibly could be. And many people are confused about when should I inhale, when should I exhale when they're doing certain exercises. So I'm gonna completely demystify that for you. And I promise you this, if you do some of the practices and you follow along this video, your health is gonna increase massively. Because right now we have this kind of bias towards always thinking about exercises and nutrition. And yes, these things are fundamental, but look, we have this breath mechanism that's taking in this vital oxygen. Our lungs mix this with the blood, and this is what's delivered to all our end range tissues to help us feel vital. So we can optimize our breath. We can actually shift our system into a more relaxed oxygenated state, which makes everything else in your life work better. Now, there's a couple different patterns of breathing and many different muscles that are involved. The main muscle is called the diaphragm. You can see a visual on the screen right now what the diaphragm is. This is a very thin sheet of muscle. And when the diaphragm contracts, it comes up into the abdomen and that allows us to exhale air. When the diaphragm relaxes, we can expand the lungs and the lungs get big and they fill up with air. So constantly the diaphragm is moving. Now the problem with most people's breathing is they're doing breath through the chest and very up high. Most people's breathing has a motion that goes up like this. It looks like this. Shoulders are coming up, neck muscles are getting tighter and we're not getting this deep oxygenation. The good kind of breathing is called diaphragmatic breathing. This is when we're really focused on breathing through the lower trunk and all these four quadrants. Now you're gonna see me get down on the floor right here and I'm gonna demonstrate a simple way that you can do diaphragmatic breathing. And if possible, I recommend you follow along or at the very least, try this right after watching this video. When you lay with your back flat on the ground, you're gonna be able to feel that all of your back is touching the ground. So you're gonna tilt your pelvis just a little bit to get into that good position. Now I want you to start to take some deep breaths, focusing on breathing through your belly. And as you're breathing, I want you to think of your entire trunk expanding in all four quadrants. The two quadrants in the front and two quadrants in the back are equally expanding out. So you're almost like a balloon that's expanding out in all directions. And when you contract, everything evenly comes back to midline. Expand out, everything's getting big, contract right back down. This is the diaphragmatic breathing you're gonna watch continuing on right here that you wanna cultivate every moment of your life pretty much. When you're working at your computer, when you're driving, you're breathing through your nose and you're expanding that diaphragm in all directions. And now it may take some time if you're used to kind of breathing very shallow and through your chest to help connect neurologically to breathing through your diaphragm. And it takes practice. It took me, I'd say like a solid year of really focusing on this to really get into my body and to make diaphragmatic breathing natural. But this is the natural breathing pattern that humans are supposed to do. We are supposed to breathe through our nose and expand through the diaphragm. Now, when you breathe through your nose, I think it's important to kind of discuss this a little bit too. There's more airway resistance. Take a deep breath with me right now. You feel that pull, how there's a little bit of resistance that goes through the nose versus you breathe through the mouth, you go. The mouth is primarily a tube that we have for eating food. That's why we have teeth and why we have digestive enzymes in our mouth. The nose is primarily what we're meant to breathe through. It has all the hairs and the mucus and stuff to filter the air. And when we breathe through the nose, we actually get nitric oxide. This amazing molecule gets released in our nostrils that improves our circulation, expands those blood vessels, allows the oxygen coming in to prepare and go throughout the rest of the body. So we wanna be breathing through our nose. Now in the back part of this video in just a little bit, I'm gonna tell you about exercise and how we breathe properly during exercise motions and how nose breathing actually plays a part in that. But I want you to take a few diaphragmatic, nose breathing, diaphragm expanding breaths with me. Now on the exhale, as you're practicing this, you can exhale through the nose or through the mouth, but the important part is you're breathing in through the nose. Now, let's talk about exercise. The purpose of breathing when exercise and we're doing any kind of weightlifting is to stabilize the spine. When we inhale, we create pressure in this abdominal cavity. Do it right now, do a big inhale. Now smack your belly. Hear how that's like nice and pressurized? I still have that air in my stomach. This means my spine is more stabilized. So when we're doing a squat, on the way down of the squat, we inhale to stabilize that spine. We exhale on the way up. So again, when we're going down into a motion, we wanna stabilize the spine, we're breathing in. Exhale on the way up. If you're doing a bench press or a push up, we wanna stabilize the spine on the way down. The heavy weight's coming down, breathe in. 
exhale on the way up. So anytime you're bringing the weight down into your core and your center, you are inhaling to inflate yourself. You're inflating, keeping a strong spine, weight is coming down. So you're either dropping into that squat or you're bringing the bench press down in and you exhale when you're contracting out. Now, when you're doing weightlifting, in so far as you can, breathe through your nose. It gives you better blood flow, better circulation. When your exercise gets higher intensity, I still want you to try to breathe through your nose, but you may start exhaling through your mouth. So let's say you're doing some of our metabolic circuit workouts and you're doing, let's say, kettlebell swings into squats into shoulder presses and stuff like this. As best as you can, take your inhales through your nose and exhale through your mouth. So let's say I'm doing high intensity stuff like this. That's how I'm breathing. Even when I'm going from a run, I'm being very conscious about breathing through my nose and taking a long exhale through the mouth. So as you get higher intensity, continue to try to breathe through your nose. Look, as you're practicing this, there may be a, an instance where you start to breathe through your mouth. That's okay, but make sure that's not your dominant pattern of breathing. And over time, as you get more cardiovascular fit, you're gonna be able to breathe through your nose more. So if you're a kind of person that constantly has sinus issues or has a plugged up nose and you find it's really hard to breathe through your nose, then it's something that you must address if you wanna have optimal health. This nasal passage is meant to be open and there's a couple culprits. One, there can be allergens in your environment. This could be like external allergens that you're, that you're with that are causing mucus production. So maybe there's some kind of antihistamine or some kind of medication you can take. But more commonly, people are actually eating foods that are food allergens that are causing mucus in this airway. So if you can get rid of some of these foods and the common ones for most people are dairy, wheat, corn, soy, these kinds of foods and a lot of sugary foods. These can cause mucus in the airway, making it impossible for you to breathe properly. So getting those foods out, it's going to be very, very helpful. You can also get those breathe right strips to kind of open up your nostrils. They kind of sit here and they pull up and open up that nostril for better airflow. Maybe you actually use those when you exercise. The key summary here is we want you to breathe through your nose with diaphragmatic expansion. You can practice this every moment of your day. When you're at work, some of your attention is focused on breathing and expanding through the belly and exhaling. You can breathe consistently in and out the nose when you're at rest. When you start to exercise, anytime you're stabilizing the spine, dropping into a squat, you inhale. <sighs> exhale on the way up. On a bench press, Exhale on the way up. On a curl, exhale. And when you're exercising, you can exhale through the mouth, but still work on inhaling through the nose. So these are the fundamentals of the breathing patterns. And again, it's nice to watch a video on this, but the only thing that actually matters is how your body is breathing on a daily basis. So this means becoming more mindful of your breath and making it a practice to pay more attention. And workouts are such a good opportunity to do that. When you're exercising, focus on your proper breathing patterns and stabilizing that spine, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And when you're working, you know, you're oftentimes gonna be really focused on something, but just check in. The second that thought comes to your mind, oh crap, breathing. Take a deep breath in out through your nose, feel that back expand in that diaphragmatic breathing. Hope you enjoyed this video, my friend. I'm sure you may have some questions and some comments, so comment below. We can continue this discussion on breathing. I just wanna make this a primer video to get your head spinning on some stuff to actually be thinking about and becoming aware with. My challenge for you is today, do a set of 30 breaths diaphragmatic breathing to really get that synced in. If you wanna really nail this in your life, then I recommend you do diaphragmatic breathing in the morning and the evening to kind of help set your system into being in that kind of breathing. So lay down on your back, do the diaphragmatic breathing. And of course, when you exercise, focus on breathing properly. It's gonna help your health so much. This is Dr. A signing off. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you very soon.